Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe. It's my pleasure to give you a look at what's new in Lightroom CC 2015, the .1 update. That's right, Lightroom, it wasn't long ago that Lightroom CC was made available to Creative Cloud members, and now there's already an update, and that's the beauty of Creative Cloud, is that you get these feature updates as soon as they're ready with new features, so you can just take advantage of them without the traditional long 18 to 24 month wait. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what's new for Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. Uh, first and foremost, I'll, I'll sh just share one of the things that I gave a sneak peek that was coming uh, for Lightroom in one of the videos I did before, and that was uh, the new dehaze feature. Well, Lightroom uh, uh, CC 2015.1 is here, and so is the feature. So if I uh, go into the develop module for this particular photo, you'll notice that uh, there is a new dehaze slider here in the effects panel and that's for photos just like this where there's a hazy cloudy kind of you know middle of the day or just bad lighting kind of situation and you want to quickly fix it so now with the dehaze slider we can slide it left to give it more haze or right to actually remove the haze and that's what dehaze is all about now i had someone ask me or ask on my video in the comments well couldn't you do this with contrast couldn't you do this with blacks and let me take a second and try your suggestions. I, I imagine, yes, if you use enough controls and enough sliders, you will ultimately get rid of it. But let's try just those two. Uh, if I try contrast, well, that doesn't really do much. It doesn't do enough, certainly. And I would have to mix it with something else. So let's try blacks. Well, the blacks will certainly take care of a lot of it. It gets a lot of it down here in the area where there are blacks, but again, up here the, or, or the middle on up, it's really not doing the job. So I'd have to constantly keep working on it to get this done as opposed to simply going to the new dehaze slider and with one slider, I get it done. It's also, of course, can be used for a more creative effect where you may want to even take a photo that doesn't have haze and kind of just use the dehaze slider to make those clouds a little bit more dramatic, make the scene a little bit more dramatic, or make it a little bit more, more dreamy, more cloudy. So it's that's what dehaze is all about. One single slider that not only can correct the problem, but also give you a creative control over your photos going forward. So that's that's one of the new things in the update. And for uh, on the desktop, another new thing is for people that are coming over from Photoshop Elements, the organizer and elements where you normally were maintaining your photos, if you're graduating and upgrading to Lightroom, yay, it will now import that um, organizer or that catalog that you had and retain a lot more. So your person or people tags, your uh, keywords, all of the things that you would be used to in, in Photoshop Elements now come over and they are automatically updated in your new Lightroom catalog that you'd be creating. So that's another new thing. Now let's head over to Lightroom Mobile. Uh, the first thing I'll do here, let's fire up my phone and let's switch over to the phone. Let's see if I can. And let's pull it onto the right screen. Here we go. So I've got my uh, phone in place here. And one of the things for Lightroom Mobile that's pretty cool, and this is these features, by the way, are in the new update that just came out. Uh, you'll have this update today. And it's for uh, iOS. So whether you're on iPhone or iPad, the same features are there. You'll notice that in my on-the-go collection, which is still syncing, but in my on-the-go collection, I not only have just still photos for the first time, Lightroom Mobile can bring over your videos too. And this is huge because I do shoot video on my iPhone all the time. And those videos I usually have to bring in manually if I want them in my Lightroom collection. Now, when I'm telling my stories with both stills and video, I can now bring that video over seamlessly just like I do with my stills. So you shoot, whether you're shooting photos or shooting videos on your mobile device, it syncs up to Lightroom Mobile and then back down to your desktop. So that's what's new from a importing standpoint. Now let's take a look at what's new from a develop standpoint. And even though I can do this on the iPhone, I'm gonna do it on the iPad, which is just a bigger screen. So let's go ahead and bring the iPad over now. If I can grab it here, there we go. And now with the iPad in place, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick it up here. And I noticed that I've got a Europe 2015 collection. 
I was just there a few weeks ago and of course did some shooting while I was in Paris. I uh, captured this shot from the uh, bottom of the Eiffel Tower and uh, I have the ability of course to adjust it here on my iPad but the adjustments just got a lot better for people that are doing adjustments on the iPad or iPhone. So if I tap my adjustments um, now you'll notice over on the left hand side I get an indicator for what mode I'm in whether I'm in basic or some of the new modes and I can switch back and forth between that indicator just by dragging anywhere on that adjustment bar up and down. So if I drag up I can see that I can go from basic which is what you're used, used to in Lightroom Mobile. I now have tone curve, vignetting, and color slash black and white. So let's do them one at a time. Let's do tone curve and I actually get the tone curve in the, in the bottom right hand corner. Now of course I can adjust the curve with my finger. That's kind of cool to be able to adjust the shadows and highlights of this image just by dragging the tone curve around. So if I want the, the shadows to be darker or if I want the shadows to be lighter, I just drag down at the bottom. Same thing for the top. If I want the highlights to be lighter or darker, just drag the curve that way. If you don't like dragging the actual curve itself, you can, of course, use the sliders down here at the bottom and make your adjustments that way. So the tone curve will give you just the right amount of tonality in your photo, and now it's easily adjustable, and of course, you can still adjust it with the numbers down at the bottom as well. Uh, now, let's uh, swipe up, and let's go to vignetting. This is one I'm extremely happy about because I do vignetting all the time, and now it's great to be able to do it here in Lightroom Mobile on my iPad or iPhone. So I can tap a mount and I get a slider left and right. I can slide to the left if I want a vignette with black. I can slide to the right if I want a vignette with right, white. And of course, these are still the same non-destructive adjustments that sync the metadata up to Lightroom Mobile, back down to my desktop and any of my other iOS devices or mobile devices, I should say, whether it's iOS or Android. All right, so now that I've got that adjustment made, uh, let's swipe up one more time. Now let's go to color in black and white. And I love the interface for this. this. The team did a great job on this. Well, I'm in color, so black and white is currently off in the lower left-hand corner. If I tap to turn it on, I've obviously converted this to a black and white. But as you know, this is coming from a color photo. So now I can use those color dots as sliders to adjust my black and white based on the original colors that were in the photo. So for example, I know there was a lot of kind of gold yellowish in this photo. So if I adjust the orange uh, left or right, I can adjust that color to adjust my black and white. So it's pretty cool to be able to do this just with the color dots. Sliding left and right to get the colors uh, adjusted to make your black and white stand out and give you just the black and white you've been dying to create. So great to be able to do this with Lightroom Mobile now on iOS and of course these features will make their way over to the Android version as well. So we have um, Lightroom Mobile of course uh, currently available for iPhone, iPad, Android phone and Android tablet as well. This is the new one I believe 1.6 update no one dot I don't remember what update it is either 1.5 or 1.42 can't remember but this update uh, available today for iOS and again these features will make their way into the Android version as well. So with that, take care, enjoy what's new for Lightroom CC and Lightroom Mobile, especially the video part. Very cool.